Hey, what's going on? Uh, lately, I've been really curious about this whole water situation in the United States, this whole mega drought um, that's really affecting the Colorado River as well as Lake Mead, uh, which is the largest reservoir in the United States. Uh, reservoir is like this man-made lake. It's not natural, usually caused by like a dam, a Hoover Dam. Uh, now, Lake Mead is actually at its lowest level since 1937 when the reservoir was first filled. And if it gets too low, then it's not going to generate electricity, no drinking water, and that's no bueno. Uh, what the U.S. is experiences, experiencing is this mega drought, and it's different than a normal drought. See, a normal drought, it's dry, then it gets wet again. And a mega drought is just super dry for a long period of time. And the whole area has been experiencing this mega drought since the year 2000. It's a long time ago, right? It's crazy. Uh, so I mean, you might be wondering, what the hell causes this damn drought? Well, the drought's caused by mainly three things, okay? Lack of snowpack, uh, lack of soil mesh moisture, and just a high temperature, right? So what happens is the snow falls on the mountains, okay? And that turns into water, it runs down into the rivers and the reservoir. And if there's not a lot of snowpack, then that can contribute to the drought. Uh, but before the reservoir or river gets the water, the soil gets the water. If that soil is super dry, then it's going, to so it's going to drink up a lot of the water. And, well, it's not going to get to the reservoir. So that can contribute to it as well. And as you can imagine, if the temperature is like super high, like really hot, then the water is going to evaporate. And that's going to contribute to the drought as well. So all three of those factors can contribute to it. Now, and lastly, uh, is the consumption. And I thought, oh, wow, that's because a whole bunch of people are just moving to the desert. They got these lawns and these golf courses. And that's got to soak up a lot of water, right? Well, I was wrong. Uh, the truth is 40% of the water use in the West is actually commercial and residential, you know, like homes and businesses. Uh, and a vast majority of it, 86% is for irrigation of crops. And what's even more crazy is, well, the crop that consumes the most water isn't even one that we humans consume or eat. Uh, it's alfalfa, okay? And that's, of course, used to feed uh, livestock and cows. And uh, other thirsty ones consumed are consumed by cows and stuff. 32% of the water consumed is for cattle, okay? Uh so you might be wondering, okay, what the heck is the U.S. even doing about this whole mega drought? Well, as you can imagine, they want the states to figure it out. And yes, you're right about this. The states can't figure it out. <laughs> they just want more water. They, they can't get along. Uh, so the U.S. government's stepping in like a responsible adult and imposing restrictions on every single state. Um, each one's going to be different, which is kind of interesting. But if you want to discover what the restriction will be, what areas of the U.S. will be most affected, uh, impacted by this drought, as well as two things that you can do yourself uh, to prepare for the drought, um, then just simply click on the link in the description below or go to my website at trustthelink.com. I create a whole blog post about this topic. Um, hopefully, it's going to be uh, well, interesting to you and helpful. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I wish you the best. Take care. Bye.